anything you've ever seen anything like this. This is unreal. Some lost mine carts. I'll buy that for some workmanship. Don't I fancy walking under it, mind? I'm going to I'm some doing. There must have been some train coming through here or something. I was cracked uh, for the week about the thing. Uh, yeah. We'll sat them together, I know. It's coming down at some point. Got to put it on wide angle to show you this. Jeez. The scale of it. And there's a tunnel there. Must have been going through something at some point. And look right at the top, there's a train track. It's going up into the air. Crazy. Well, I just looked it up, and this one's called Tus Mauer. Mauer it is. It's just too much to see. Buildings everywhere. This one, 1925. Look at that. I'm taking a walk to the top of that. Well, looks like we gotta climb the pyramid. And then we go in way up there. Train tracks are still in there. Dare you traverse it. Ooh. It's further than I thought. <laughs> Can't see a thing now. Oh, that's freaky. Two tunnels now. in caves. <laughs> yeah, I'm in this one. I think it's because it's man-made. I'm coming out onto nothing. Whoa. That might have gone, must have gone straight across at one point. Dodgy. This is a steep old path now. Welcome to a cabin. Door's not up to much. There's a dead body in here. Oh. They've tried to like seal it up as well. Like. Are they? Insulation on that window. It's the old wood burner. Oh, look at that kettle, man. Oh, that's 
It's been here a while. There's old boots here as well. The minus trousers. That's pretty good. They're proper old ones there. Huh? The size of the logs holding them up. And those slates that are on top of them are massive. I think people have been meeting you for a long time. Judging by the amount of graffiti on the wall. And the old miners here. Cooking up a bit of a pot noodle and a coffee. You've got to be careful up here, because walk 10, 20 metres that way, and you'll be dropping 300 metres straight. The quarries are massive around here. I wonder if this was the original workers that used to hang out here. Looks different to all the rest of the graffiti. And it's in Welsh. There's not a lot of them are. Just run past this building, shall we? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, that's freaky, isn't it? This building's close to going over the edge. People, how small they are, but that. We're going up again. There's about four more levels above us. So we're bound to find something amazing. It makes it easier tomorrow, or not? Yeah, it's head start for tomorrow. And this building looks amazing up here. Yeah. There's a... Uh, is that up there? No. Is this over there? Uh, we come around here and you can see us. And that cut. Climbed up basically from the lake. And, um, well, our descent today was probably 600 metres. These are cool drums, aren't they? I wonder if it was a sort of gravity system. So you'd have one full, and it would pull that one back up the hill. That's a big old chain. Probably would have gone right down the hillside, that one. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Looks like some cool machines in here. Let's check it out. Oh, look at this. No, it's half of it is metal on this roof. Whoa. You don't make them like this no more. Oh, wow. That is a monster. They must have been steam to have these tanks here. Yeah? I could be wrong. It could just be for, you know, diesel or something. So we've seen pipes all the way up. We've been pumping something up the hillside. There's the old uh, toilets. Have a bit of privacy in here. It must have been a toilet or something, surely. Doesn't look like an air, it looks like you got a fireplace. Weird. This is really cool. It's just everywhere you look is something different. So much history here. I'm not just walking through the same buildings every time. 
There's hundreds around here. There's Snowdon, where all the tourists said. I just got caught a sight of what is in here. This is amazing. Thank you, Nick. Hundreds of them. Yeah. Roof's not looking too clever on this. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, got a size. <laughs> you wouldn't look so relaxed, though, do you? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dodgy bit. Heck of a drop, there's cable reels under there. Last hurdle of the day. We're pitching up a bear no matter what. What an amazing place though. Definitely coming back here. We've put some mileage in. Oh. We've ended up on one of the highest plateaus on Dinovich Quarry. Whew. I think uh, when we were entering the quarry, I'm sure it's about 100 metres up. We're about 550 metres up now, it's still part of the quarry. Uh, yeah, for, it's pretty much straight down, isn't it? 450 yeah. metres down. Yeah, literally. What a brilliant place though, there's loads of buildings we haven't been in today. Come off the, uh, off the plateau up there, don't we? Yeah. Well, this morning we started off, I think it was 710 metres. We went down to 150, we've come back up to 550. <sighs> oh, we better be on the train track now, eh? I think I'm in between the two. <laughs> so one thing it's lacking is water. I've got four litres to last me. Ooh. Not a lot of banter going on today after that walk. Blowed up seals again. That was horrible. Whew. Time to chill out. Before he cleans up, let's take a moment to recognise how scruffy he could be. <laughs> Cold red hand in that. I got a twice as nice double IPA. Carried this a long way. That was nice. Aldi special. Mm. Not bad, not bad. I tried their grapefruit pale ale, it was horrible. It was basically a train track going all the way along. Um, they've just left everything. You know, the rails are still in and everything, so I'm trying to pitch it around that. I think I got lucky actually, because I'm like in between the two train tracks. Tonight's meal, we got cheese and leek, pasta and sauce. Bulked out with mash and onions. onions. So I'm gonna all right. Leave that thicken up now. <laughs> Few midges about. The ultimate deterrent. 
so dead. Can still see, just about. They're not biting me tonight. Who's this coming now? What's that coming over the hill? <laughs> Is it a monster? You can still get your legs. Watch yeah, them legs. See my right one, don't I like? So where am I at? <laughs> <laughs> Gloves now. All in one Meiji suit. <laughs> For a sunrise, coming up over snow done. <sighs> Toes in agony today. I cut it last night trying to trying to cut the nail off it. Pulled it down really low. Got a lot of mileage to do, and uh, probably 600 meter elevation. So this could be hard going. So just chuck the painkillers in me and hope for the best. Got some watery porridge and coffee. <laughs> oh, I got a few mangoes now, actually. I'm going to chuck some of them in now. There you go, that's sort out. Slightly more presentable. A little vach got within 10-20 meters of it but it's goat's territory I think we're claiming this one mind Hello the power A gun <laughs> Well there we are back to the van didn't film a lot today because it done so much yesterday in the quarry we climbed them two mountains on the way home. <sighs> Struggling now. Then um, probably about 600 meters up and down. It's nothing when you're a mountain goat, is it? <laughs> no, it was a struggle. Um, the strings are but, uh, to definitely oh, come back up here soon. Love it up here. Mm. 